Um, hello, welcome to Gamers. Hello, uh, everybody. Today, Simon is going to give you um, a beginner's guide to Hugo. I start off with my Remy. Yes. Um, so we're going to go into a similar kind of feel here with um, Hugo. Yeah, let's uh, let's just dive. Str let's go straight into trials <laughs> or training. Um, so first of all, we'll talk a bit about um, supers. Yes, yeah, supers. <laughs> Obviously, costume choice. <laughs> is it default costume uh, B? B, yeah, yeah. yeah. The um, blue one. So supers. So Gigas Breaker, you use it. If you can do the 360 motions and then the 720 motions, use it because the damage it does is the most in, in the game. So obviously, why not? Yeah. Um, great for punishing. But as I say, you have to be able to use it. If not, it's just a waste. I definitely think if it's not on certain characters, it's kind of you know it's a really good opponent. Yeah. And if they're not a certain character, it's probably is most useless. Unless you unless you can parry and then go into it. But exactly. Still, that's really really hard yeah, to do. Yeah. Um, my. A lot of bigger players would say never use this. This is actually my 50% ultra uh, super of choice. Yes. Um, it's an anti-air grab. Um, it's great because it's if you do land on it to grab and you've got super. It's, well, well, obviously I'll show you how to do that. Uh, it's kind of just free damage. That's how I see super yeah. as. You either don't use it or it's free damage. And the thing is, when someone says don't use it, the idea is already planted in the opponent's head. That, that they can't jump. That they can't jump. We send us help. Yeah, exactly. Just similar to Geef and T-Hawk in 4, okay? But so. then we have what I believe to be... But actually, I'd say the other super, other super was like a 40% choice. This is a 60% choice. Yeah. Hammer Frenzy, um, it's a 5-hitting, kind of forward-running move. Um, has great invincibility. We'll, yes. we'll go through most moves. Um, Start-up is really good, isn't and it? And can be comment into. So I'm going to pick this one for now for... Yeah. Demo yeah, demonstration, and I'll I'll pick Rue yeah, as my punch bag. Definitely. Where's that? Yes. Uh, just make sure I've got everything set up right. Um, right. So, fun. kind of obvious questions, Andy. Yeah. How do you think is your optimal way to play Hugo, or how do you think he should be played? Um, I think you have to really press them. Press them. Um, probably frame traps, I'd yeah. say. So, for instance, um, that's how I would say. I'd say. Try and press them down, but safely. Force them to make a mistake. So with normals rather than specials. Yeah. At the start around, get a feel for the opponent before yeah. you. Yeah. Uh, try and rush them down. Try and make them make mistakes, and then try and punish as best you can. And because he's got so much health, and because he does so much damage, you mistakes. Or you can, or you can, yeah. you, you can take risks at the start. Exactly. Um, so I'll show you what his normals are. This is his light punch. It's his fastest move, and you can do three of them in a combo. It doesn't. It won't combo into anything, but it's his get off move. Yeah. Yeah. And his medium punch, which is the round starter. Yeah. Oh, it, it, it is the round starter. It is the party starter. Yeah. Um, it's arguably yeah. perhaps his best yeah. move. I mean, it's yeah. really quick for a medium punch. As you can see, its range is kind of ridiculous. Yes. And also, um, if they're putting out, um, so to say, let's say Ryu's right, putting out a low medium punch, I will go over and yeah. I will punish him exactly, for it. Exactly, yeah. Um, so his hard punch is actually an overhead. You can combo into it after a um, end of the move, which I'll show you in a minute. So overhead, so if you block it, if the opponent's blocking low, that will catch them blocking low. Yep. Uh, now let's try, I'll now do variations on forward. So that's forward light punch, it's exactly the same. Forward medium punch, it's exactly the same. Back medium punch, back light punch. But forward heavy, heavy punch, you've got the uh, kind of forward lariat, which the is... The hammer hook type thing. I think, I, I think it's called hammer hook. Um, the great. stun on that move, so is... Yeah, if I can... I mean, we must have stunned. Yeah, we but must have stunned up. Um, but crazy stun. It's a good anti air if you really preempt and jump. Yeah. Um, so let's go into the light kicks. We have a standing light kick, which you can chain into other moves. Won't combo, but you can chain into them. It's actually a weirdly good anti air, this. Okay. If they're right. at a certain range, it's right. a really good anti air. So someone probably going to that on a more in depth, uh, more advanced one. Yeah. I, I know what I'm talking about, but I bet a lot of people are like, what are you talking about? And weirdly enough, it actually has a. It actually has a better uh, range than his crouching light punch. Wow, so if okay. you are going to space someone from a close range, that's actually a better move to use. There you go. So yeah, I never knew that, guys. And obviously, crouching light punch is pretty good, but his standing actually has a. So it's his furthest ranging light move, which is right. white. So and now I think the next move, not the normal. We'll do, we'll, we'll do the standing first. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that's the crouching his, version of that. This, next. So this is also an overhead, isn't it? The second hit is an overhead. Yeah. So this is a two hitting move. I'll just show you how it's a two hitting. As you can see, so the first hit hits high, and then the second hit hits low, which means an overhead. Yeah. Um, you can use it as, as an anti-air, but it's so hard to use, because obviously it has quite slow start. Hugo actually has one of them, he's one of the characters with the most overheads in the game. Oh, so I think that. he actually does have the most overheads. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so now let's try what 
and with his medium punch, this could be arguably his best normal. I think this is his best normal, which is his crouching medium okay, kick. Look which... at the look. Just let's try and go max range on that. Thing, okay. Right? I think... Like that, there. That, look that at, look how far away. He that grew. was about just less than half. I say about a, maybe half to a third screen. And so the reason why this is good is obviously Sam's already showed you the reach of it. So it, it's the kind of thing that it doesn't seem to do much damage, but what you no. get, you knock them down. It's a hard knockdown. They have the mix of, of they've got to take that getting knocked down again. Yes. And then that's that's when Hugo starts. You have yeah. To, and it also everything from Hugo starts from that because yeah. I, I dash up and now I'm in your face and now I'm, I, now I'm going to try and force you to make a mistake. Exactly. And that's when I punish. And then that's when, like, the, say, the Super 2 would come in uh, yeah. useful because it'd be like, what is he coming to do next? It's command throw. Okay, so have we got one more We've got hard kick. And no, more overheads on the way. And they're technically, it's they're both. Both, both are yes. So this is his just a uh, standing hard kick, which is like a drop kick. Um, it's kind of useless in, unless you can do mix-ups. Oh, as, as a jumping, it's good though, right? Oh yeah, but that, I mean, his jumping looks similar with that. I'll do jumping in a, in a second, yeah. but... So it, it, hits, it hits low, so it hits high, which means you have to block it low. Other way, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um, we know what you mean. Yeah. Um, and then his crouching hard kick, which is, is arguably, is, I think, his best overhead. And the reason is, is because it, it is so slow. Okay. Because what it does, is and the range seeing, of it, I think. Oh yeah, the range is kind of ridiculous, but the reason why I think it's his, um, that wouldn't, but from that range it wouldn't be an overhead. No, and also, they'd probably, be, and also they'd probably be blocking, but then they'd probably react. But the reason why I think it's so good is actually because it's so, so, so slow, I think people get confused as to why they've not been hit yet. <laughs> yeah. So then they start to consider, am I blocking high or low, and then that's when you usually get them. Yeah. Um, so then now let's do his jumping. So jumping light punch, really good to, to stuff, uppercuts to stuff, any kind of move like that. Now, I think you need to the next one is jumping light kick is one that you make a lot of use of. Yeah, um, I'll, do, I'll just deal with punches first. So that was yeah. just a medium punch. Same reason why you use the light, it just has a bit of further range, that's it. And now here's jumping hard punch. That's just jumping forward hard punch. I I would say that is something that a lot of good players players get with. You get, you know, so we'll, so we'll look at the range of that's that. That's what I'm talking about. So say if I, if Ryu throws a Hadouken now, he's punished. Even Remy yeah. will be punished on something. The same means I can go into a hard knockdown. Uh, it isn't, isn't a hard you, knockdown, you can but combo it's a knockdown. You can combo that jumping fist to super straight away. Yeah, 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 you can. It's very and now, arguably, his joint best jumping move, which is his down hard punch. So you, so you jump up and then do down hard punch. You can do it from a neutral jump. But you like, can also let, do it jumping back, which is actually really good, by the way, to get out of mix-ups. Let's show them why that's good. Like, so oh, yeah, um, grab Remy. Oh, I know. Exactly. Yeah. So we have the... And, the, and it's, it's this cross-up body splash that is... Also, what? also if you do it even lower, you get more frame advantage yeah. as well. It can be really ambiguous. It's really intimidating. Because not only does it do really good damage, not only does it mix them up, yeah. the stun on it is kind of insane. It is kind of good. Um, and now we'll do jumping light kick, which yeah. Aiden I says... Think you, I think you make the best use out of this normal. It's yeah. because... As a, it's his best air to wear, without a doubt, this is his best air to wear. So as you can see, it puts his whole hitbox behind the knee, so his knee is the only part he's actually hitting with, so it's actually hard to hit him whilst he's doing it. And if someone's jumping up with something, so let's say, this has just been an idea of what to use it for. So let's say I've just knocked him down. Now to not get hit by a man grab or a clap, they want to jump up. So what I do is I do that, it stuffs any move they're going to do, and I keep the pressure yeah, on. Pressure on, yeah. So really, it is kind of a corner tool. Um, medium kick is kind of the same, but it's just a bit slower, so that's, I don't use it. That's one thing I think you actually missed out to say, I just think that is your from uh, play style. Is when I'm saying about you know, pressing, it, pressing the opponent, I think it also it's his um, corner control. Yeah, his corner control actually is pretty good, really. Yeah, if, if you're playing it right, yeah. I think you've got to intimidate them, but to play well with them. And now it's probably joint, maybe joint best jump in, which is the hard kick. Now, the reason why I think this is pretty good is range is pretty damn good, yeah. but it's, it's, it's his best, maybe his joint best stuffer. And also, can I control where you haven't gone on control? Um, we'll do that in the one. Okay, so say if Ryu upcuts, if you jump in again, if Ryu upcut then, he would have traded. Yeah. Um, and that is a lot more disheartening to the Ryu player. That trades are actually in some favour. Yeah, and so. What, and so look, I can I can do it low, I can do it even lower. You know what I mean? So I'm actually going to land even closer to the ground after hitting. Yeah. Which means frame advantage for me. Um, so that's arguably is um, second like joint best jumping. Okay, let's go on to special moves. Yeah, I think that's two specials. And then 
um, the combos you use them in, like yep. bread and butter combos. So let's start out with arguably his, maybe his best special, which is the SPD. That was the light one. He has a variant for every button, so if I can do them. Notes the uh, the damage. Yeah, the damage is pretty ridiculous. That's the fierce one. So that's all of those. Uh, their all motion is at 360 plus a, a, a punch. Yeah, and an there's actual, no EX variant. An actual 360. Yeah, which is why I was missing it. I, yeah, I missed, I missed it notice how some the, there is another move that Hugo has. There's another one that doesn't have any EX variant. If yeah. you please. Which is the 360 with kick. Yes. Um, and it's a running grab. So if I do the light one again, that as you can see only reaches at best third screen. Yeah. That's the medium one, which at best reaches two third screen. And then there's the, the hard one, which if I can do, will reach full the screen. And, but but uh, it's his arguably his worst move. move. The way you um, probably should be doing it is maybe like this. And then. Yeah, uh, so. Um, I just went to take it off silence, I was like wanting to show him what I was doing. But so instead of the Lariat, you go straight into the um the command over there. That'd yeah. probably be like a, a good way of doing it. Like that. Because obviously by then, right you can just like, That's it. Like, that's yeah. a nice little trick there. Yeah, I, mean, um, I mean that that is kind of more that is more advanced. Um, yeah. But yeah, it is it is perhaps his best way to use it. And if you are gonna use it like that, only use the light kick variant because it comes out of the quicker. Hugo also has another move that doesn't have an EX counterpart. Yes. Uh, air grab. Is it, yeah, which is air grab, which I can't make Ryu jump, but you, can, can. you can do the. But um, I can, but I can make him airborne. Um, so that's the light one. I mean, I can show you what it. That's how it hits. The light one has an yeah. arc like that. The medium one has has its weirdest arc. It doesn't go very high, but goes quite far. And then the hard one goes high, high and, and far. far. Um, but yeah, so not like four where there's an EX going. Like, Hugo, really weird, doesn't have a lot of the X moves. Like, you never really noticed that. No. So, uh, lastly, I should say this is his worst move coming up now. That his, sorry, um, his second to last move, and I believe this is, is his worst one, is the Lariat. That was the light kick one. He has a medium kick one. And at last, I should say to last, he has a hard kick one. And then he has an EX yeah, one. Which can be combined into, but, but is semi difficult. Yeah, it's kind of like, you can't look for any. And also, I'm pretty sure if. Right, you can add in there, like a standing medium, crashing medium. On the start of the boat, Larry can actually get beaten out kind of easily, depending yeah. on where he is. Um, and now the last move, his the, last move, his which, pressure tool, his right? pressure tool, and his frame trap tool, and our and his combo tool, and my way to play Hugo. I don't really play SPD Hugo apart from when I'm trying to stop someone pressuring me. Yeah. Um, but his best tool for frame traps is the clap. Yes. I'll do the light one first, as you can see, which comes out fastest. None, none of these can be combined into, apart from if you've already done a clap. So you, you can't do that, no. But they do chain quite quickly together. Yeah, once you've got one out, very soon to lose his soul sparks on four, they can like kind of be mashed out. Not mashed out, they can be um, put out a lot faster afterwards. Yeah. Um, so that was the light one. This is the medium one. And then we have the hard one. And then lastly, the EX, yeah, which you can do another one afterwards. Yeah. It makes them airborne. So for instance, you could do that for instance, but we'll get into the combo. Okay, yeah, so let's second. go into the let's go into the bread okay. and butter combo. So let's right. put them in the middle of the screen. So that's what with what, what combos that are gonna be anywhere. I think the main I think he's I think we should probably get into he's maybe apart from twelve, the most simple combo character. Yeah. When when you do damage, I okay, so let's say Ryu's just an uppercut right in front of me. I blocked it, he landed right in front of me. The most basic combo you can do is actually just that. Yeah, yeah, it is. Because it does reasonable damage and it sets up another spot of pressure again for you. Yeah. And but that's really important. Just you don't, similar to Remy, if you're going to get damage, if they've missed something, get the damage you can get. Yeah, exactly. Now that is, that's that's no motion. That is just one input. It's a hard, it's a soft knockdown. So at least you get to, and also I'm pushing him into the corner. Like I'm dashing and I'm pushing him slowly into the corner, which then is good for Hugo. Yeah. Um, but if you want to get better damage, let's say again, so Ryo's just done a uh, uppercut, I'd argue his easiest, and I know what I'd say is his easiest That to me, I think, is his easiest and... and now let's so let's put him into the corner, so just lower it in or something. So let's say um, Ryu... <laughs> get the ready for that So now let's say Ryu's done the same exact He's missed his uppercut in the corner, yeah. and then Hugo can actually do a better punish in the corner than the command throw. So um, it's, it, that's that is the thing. 
There it is. And that's a really nice chunk of damage for a three yeah. piece. Um, and what it is, is it has to be this, by the way. There's no other variation. It can be any variation of throw. Yeah. It has to be light clap, and then it has to be light air grab. Okay. No other variation will work. It has to be light to light. Okay, I didn't know that. But, um, so there's that. I'd, I'd say if you are, and this is maybe... So it's like, mostly do those um, clap, but you said like you could do like change yeah. some claps. So you can do. So which variants are you using? It has to start with hard, and then you can go in if I can do this without failing. Oh, so we can mention you can actually combo. Um, you combo jab. You can actually combo jab. So which technically could mean you could do um, first clap, jab, crouching jab, super. Yeah, that is that is pretty possible. Oh, two jabs. It's not. It's, it's not, not easy. No. It's not the easiest thing to do, and I wouldn't maybe advise it. Actually, I mean, you can, I can advise it because you're also getting free damage it, with and you're with totally jabs. safe. Actually, really. Yeah. Um, but I'd say now, if we're going to get into I don't know, any more punishers, obviously, if you can do the SPD motion and you can do it properly, um, of course, if Ryu's done a, yeah. then just SPD him. Uh, but that's if you are going to be proficient enough to, to do that. Okay. Um, how would you, how would you combo into super, or would you just do it raw? Now, for me, actually, the best way to do super is probably, it's probably. I know you blocked that yeah. somehow, but if you're going to get a jump in, just go straight into super. It's, it's a nice six piece. Um, you, you can deal off. I missed it, but that was in half point. Yes. Um, you can do it off Larry, I think, for our third jumping. That. I think you can, but I think I'd get to hit him really low. Yeah. So there's that possibility. But for me, the reason why I best pick three um, is if you're going to parry something, it comes out the quickest, so you can just instantly punish them. And it, it is a good reversal. Hugo, 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 apart from the SPD, which can get stuck, that actually weirdly yes. enough. What, what we've noticed is the best way to, for us to use SPD is. Um, is it wake up? Yeah, really. It's actually a really, really good wake up, which is weird because the sound effects actually will start a bit. Very good.